my match. Oh, he just made the match. Okay, this is it. This is it. GG's. Okay, good luck. Good luck, Hannah. What's up, Nomu? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so she goes for e4, and I have two knights six. Okay, we're gonna go for our trusted Janish Gambit. Let's see if she has. Uh... I am playing Hannah. Good luck, good luck to her. So far, we're doing three. We've got almost 16 minutes, so that's, you know. You guys know me. You guys know that I take time on, on certain terms. Certain turns, sorry. So, winning that time early may be beneficial. Queen e2 is odd. I think I should just take. Common theme. Is to take. Oh, should we just go in castles? That'd be crazy. And between this, d6 is really good. That closes out this bishop here. Legit Chess League, thank you so much for the viewer raid. Welcome, welcome, everyone. I'm currently playing this very intense game. I hope you guys had a great stream. Thanks for the raid again. Welcome, viewers. Okay, if I do this, I certainly give a pawn. Okay, let's give a pawn. I am playing a gambit after all. I'm betting here while sacrificing this pawn is that she'll have enough weaknesses that this will be better on for me in the end game. Okay, bishop e2. This is an odd move. C4 is going to be. I'll take advantage of just moving out of check, getting my king safe here. Bishop b2 is an odd move. This bishop is terrible on b2. So maybe it's to get this rook out. a4 again. I have no clue what is going on here. Okay, let's go bishop g4. Developing my pieces, making them better. This pin might be annoying for the white pieces. I said might. No, no, it's two games, but it's just one today, you guys. Just one game to get today. I have less time. I should spend less time per move.
Bishop C1. GG's, GG's Hannah. I'm so stressed. <laughs> it's again? We go again? Okay, I think it's two. I think it's two games. GG's Hannah. Okay, I'll start this one. I didn't know it was two games. My bad.
Oh no, this is not even. Takes, takes. Okay, let's go into the end game. Just because I saw a 1.3 evaluation for this the other day. If not for that, I wouldn't be going into this. What are we doing? What are we doing? Straight away, I'll give, I'll give her the bishop pair. Um, and this bishop is a medium as well. I'll give her the bishop pair. If it means that this one can be good one day, it'd be insane. love that we're taking up d7 so there's no this is you know i want to go like this that's why this and c4 c5 i'm blocking this bishop is good for now though i think this bishop i reckon that bishop is going to be strong day okay turning bishop f3 don't like that much Rook d3 it is. Not a fan, but it is what it is at this point. You know what I like here? Okay, I'm defending. But this with this... Getting out a simple thing like getting out of that H H4 square, you know? It's probably something I like. Maybe this. I'm trying to trade off the bishop there. Whoa. Interesting move. I'm in a time de deficit here, so maybe I'll play a little bit quicker for these next five, five moves without blundering. That's an excellent move that I missed that one. I'm pretty sure that was the H4 pawn. I play this very risky. I can choose to play this. Kind of 
do. What was my last move? Hmm. You see, I like that now. Wow. After a three minute turn, the thing I calculate the least is being played. This drops. Um, but I'm betting on this. Let's see, after takes and well, bishop takes, I'm pretty sure. Unless she goes for activity, this would be crazy. I think I can't even... Okay. Bishop takes. Great, great. Look at this low activity. This is what you pay for, you know? Okay, bishop here. This is pretty predictable. C4. Bishop F2. Type of move I hate. King rook here, sorry. My aim. Also, this is cool. Hi, this is my first stream. What's up, that green, green bean? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm in this intense tournament. Sorry if you guys, I'm not, if I'm not talking. This game happens to be very interesting, and I'm very invested in this tournament for no particular reason other than passion. Uh huh. I just like this plan a lot. C6. Redrin, I have half the time. Half the time we need to go. Here in night here. Our resource is going to be this, and this for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh, wait, is that a blunder? And then this. Oh my god, does she drop this pawn? Wait a second. Takes this. That is not half bad. Oh, it is half bad. Nice little trap. This, this, for real? What if I do rook h1? Please stop.
rook here and bishop f4 closes that game for me. I think she chose a little bit of a... Hmm. I have to do this. I think maybe here I go this. Bishop here, rook h1. Thank god, okay. I think h2 is completely living there. Okay, let's go knight here. For sure, for sure. What's up, Deep? How you doing? as well no time left with two bishop with one bishop this pawn cannot queen with two bishops this pawn can queen with one bishop here and a pawn on h2 this pawn can queen i think for sure there's something going on here No, I would win. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to go C7. By law, almost. King c3 takes takes wow I didn't even see that okay I did not even see that um yeah I completely missed that uh, I think though I have things Yeah, I have to play. Okay, let's take. Wow, 30 seconds. I think I'm doing this on purpose. Mm. Draw here. Yeah, I have 30 seconds plus 10 seconds increment for the rest of the game. So playing quickly here is the objective for sure. I think that's my only thing. <laughs> it's really an, an interesting game.
Mm. Well played. GG's. GG's. Jesus. Yeah, there was so many like potential tactics there. It was just like, oh no. Mm. I was like, I'm I'm doomed. There's way too much happening here. And um, I know how good you are at tactics. So I was like, <laughs> well, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm flattered. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure it works. But uh, yeah, you, definitely with King H1, like I'm not even trying on, on F3. Uh, yeah. So that was yeah. good. Bishop C1, I really like that resource, although the computer doesn't like it. Uh, yeah. Because it disconnects your rooks. And that was the problem yeah, with Yeah, that Queen was H4. the problem, yeah. Because I just saw it as like a way to, um, you know, try and bring my bishop back into the game. But, um, yeah, d in the long run, it was so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rook F6. Yeah. Oh, I have maiden and... five! Yeah, rook, rook sack. I honestly was like think you might be able to you might oh to, my god with knight takes yeah. f3 that's absolutely brilliant yeah. absolutely yeah. brilliant wow like, <laughs> how cool is that and then oh is my it, goodness. yeah and then rook there i'm just that's showing the awesome. audience yeah that's crazy yeah. absolutely mad yeah i was just fixated on yeah. queen h4 i was so excited to play it i didn't even hesitate i mean i mean it's like an awesome move anyway so mm -hmm. it, it was basically like um, yeah, I honestly didn't know what to do there. I was like, I'll just throw in a check and then I don't know. Uh, because yeah, my rook hanging, my mate hanging, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, dead there. But it was such a nice checkmate that you gave. Although I resigned yeah, not bad. Belly, so. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Uh, let's look at your, your slander of my chest then. <laughs> <laughs> kind of level it up. <laughs> okay, it well, let's check this one out. Um, okay. I'm trying to fetch the game here. Yeah. How, okay. how, so how, where did I go, go wrong? Uh, all right. What, uh, wait, if you pull the game up, then maybe I can. Yeah, I got you. Here it is. Okay. So... Um, what was I thinking? I'm just going to flip it to my perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we kind of just went through, like, normal theory. Um, this is fine? Mm, no. Uh -huh. Well, okay. Taking, taking on F6 is, like, not... Like, you, you have to move the knight. I know that, like, mm. in some lines you can take on F6, but... Not here. Right. Um, and the problem was, yeah, after I took all these pawns here, I felt like this was just really and this not one too. a good structure for you. And mm -hmm. yeah, also this as well. Um, and then I was also like, now it's pretty easy for me to like push d5. Right. And, and you did? Activate things. Yes. So yeah, I think that here... You gotta move your knight, like back right. to e two, and right. then and then I have to move mine to like h five or whatever, and then um, you start like pushing, pushing on the king's side. Oh, f four things. I actually love that. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely I like um, that. yeah. If you play knight e two, then it's pretty equal, but like a little crazy still. But yeah, once once you take here, just because. I can take easily back, and this is like this is where my knight wants to go as well on f6. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I think any other move if you're hot from queen takes uh, c3 would be not so good, right? So, yeah, this is the best, but then because I can double your pawns and then take here. Um, okay, so I had a, I had a preconceived knowledge 
that I can take here on f6. Um, but I think it's the fact that you played queen c7 that enables me to not go through with it. So let's say you go b5 now, and I think I, re I recently checked theory in this kind of line. Yeah, which... you can sometimes take because like yeah. I've played um, I've played games before where like I do go for go for this like the trade because it's yeah. just simple. But yeah, because of queen c7, and then I can take back there. Because here it's fine, yeah. and there's no queen trade, and I don't get that weakness, and my pawn is on h2 harder to grab. Yeah. Yeah. And everything, so, and, and this is better for white because of rook takes d6. Oh, wait, wait, can't okay, wait. <laughs> knight takes, sorry. Yeah, I take back with the And knight, this yeah. is kind of equal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I was so sure of myself because I'd recently checked that. And you uh, know when you build no, up an ego yeah. and something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, like when you've studied a line, but then... Um, <laughs> you think you're a like professional? not exactly the same, yeah. I, like, had studied this... Um, French, this line against the French, where you can like go for this crazy Greek gift that's like not quite quite. You want to show me? Sacrifice a bishop. Um, I can. Uh, it's like I honestly won't be able to remember it exactly, okay. but it's a line in the classical French. Okay. And I had like almost the same position over the board, but it was like a little bit different, and I just went for wow. it. Thankfully, in the game, my opponent bought it, and like it was fine. But then when I analyzed it after, it was like. <laughs> plus five for my opponent or something i was like oh no <laughs> wow and and in this i don't know if you remember it but uh, i i like the greek gift and the french defense like you didn't mm -hmm. in that variation you didn't have like queen g4 or queen d3 because usually those are the winning moves or h4 i guess mm, yeah it was just like um yeah i think that i couldn't bring my queen over now okay so i had to instead like bring my knights in and whatever and I think my opponent was also scared, so kind of just started moving their king away. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I think that, yeah, after this happened, um, then it was basically just, like, so much easier to play for me. I mean, it's probably, like, not winning. I don't know. I don't even think but, I have a chance from here on out, given the engine. Yeah, because I was seeing, like, the problem was that, um, yeah, once I was, like, coming up here and stuff. That was so strong. H5 was such a good move. Wow. Oh, thanks. H5 killed me. You yeah, because then I was like, there's no, yeah, there was no way really for you to defend yeah, the pawn. can't do that. Um, can't do that. Yeah. No. So, yeah, yeah then, from, then from there on, it was like kind of, but it got a little crazy at the end, to be honest. I it got super little, mad. Yeah. I was getting a little scared um, because... Obviously, when you're playing the game, you don't have the eval. And while I was like 90% sure I was definitely winning, I was like, oh, this is kind of scary here. Um, but I figured that as long as I have the bishop protecting c8, then everything's fine because like your rook's tied down to protecting um, a1. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, well, as long as I can just, you know, shuffle my bishop around and then keep protecting the motion square, then I'm going to be making a queen, so... Yeah. Without without mistake, I mean, there's not. I don't have. There's not one move here where the the engine says what is better. There's not one since <laughs> the trade. So you played marvels. I I, I don't think I oh, found thanks. the counterplay. There was none. Yeah, yeah. It was just like hard because um, I think it was like one of those one of those positions where even though it's like almost equal, my bishop pair was just so good. There was like, bishop pair. And because. Because I won the pawn and then could just get this pawn going, it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. But no, I was very scared. When your pieces started coming over, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna throw this. I have to be so careful because I'm not very good at end games. I'm... <laughs> right. I, but, I really yeah. didn't feel that this game. I was like, wow, this girl's good at end games. <laughs> <laughs> I have been studying a lot of end games recently because I'm like so bad at them. So maybe it's paying off. <laughs> Wow. Well. Yeah, I really, um, I really enjoyed those games, and um, yeah, the first game was horrible for me, but <laughs> at least I've learned something new. Yes, uh, and, and yeah. same for me. I thought my Sicilian was was strong, but wow, really, really, nothing here. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, the Sicilian is yeah. It's every time that you play it, you learn there's like this new new part that you just never knew about like mm -hmm. playing i play like the open sicilian both from both sides and okay just like 
every game I feel like I'm discovering some new line that my opponent throws at right. me. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so for me, like the new lines I've seen Black play is like an, a random H5 before castling short yes, or like an yes. A5. Have you seen this A5 thing? A5, A4 directly, like no warnings. Oh, okay. Um, I think I've seen A5, A4. Actually, that's really? like really aggressive and it's it gets really sharp. Um, wow, I should. And yeah, H5, I think Anish Giri recommends it in um... his Night Elf course, so like that's possibly why. Hmm. Um, I've tried H5 a few times, but I kind of just prefer to play the main line. But H5 is a little bit annoying because it makes it yeah. harder to attack as well. Yeah, yeah, I found so too. And the engine reacts badly to it. it. Says like H3 and like play passively basically on the on the king side. So yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have to. Uh, I have some things. Uh, some things to look over the Sicilian, eh? Yeah, and I. I will next time I see that gambit, I'm gonna. So queen d3, queen d3. I know it now. <laughs> so. I'm ready to crush all my opponents. <laughs> okay, well that was this was a very fun kill up. How do you how do you how do you think about this tournament overall? Uh, the rapid tournament. Yeah. I guess this was my first game in it, so I think it's a really cool idea. I'm excited to play everybody in it, but um, yeah, I was a little confused because I think halfway through somebody said that there was only one game, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that was it. But. Uh, no, there are two games, thankfully. Yeah, I was shocked, um, too. Like, when I saw the rematch, I was like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm so excited to play everyone. I'm definitely going to be, like, the worst of the tournament um, by far, probably. So I'm glad to at least get one. Really? One. Okay, I really don't see it that way. I hope I hope not, <laughs> for your sake. But they're so, like, everybody's so good. But that's okay. Experience. Right. Are you, do you have a title? No. Okay, I, me neither. I basically didn't play over the board until very recently, and I just started okay. like playing it. Okay. I played like one over the board tournament when I first started learning chess, really, and I was like fourteen hundred online. Right. Um. So then I got quite a low FIDE rating. So now everybody, you know, comes into my chat and is like, "Why is your FIDE so low?" Me so too. What's your FIDE? I'm, mine's like fourteen hundred at the moment. Okay. okay um. Okay. But it was it was thirteen hundred before. And then I've played in like a couple of tournaments in the past month. I gained like uh, over 100 ELO in my last tournament. Wow, and congrats. Yeah. And then my recent tournament, I've been doing well. I'm on two out of two, so. You're yeah. in a tournament right now? Oh, yeah. It's so, like one game a week. Oh, okay. That's sick. Yes. I can't wait to get back yeah. into FIDE day rated. Yeah, so I'm actually on the FIDE day rating grind at the moment. But we'll see how we go. Damn. Because I'm sick of everybody coming into my chat. Oh like, my god, it's You're relentless. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're always like, when are you getting WFM? I'm like, I'm nowhere near. For real. Oh, when are you so getting bad. WFM? The most, <laughs> yep. the biggest question any streamer gets. No, but uh, why, yes. why I talk about that is that I think we're the only two non titled players in this whole thing. True. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is that, like, yeah, there's a lot of title players and I feel like they'd you know, do well in the 15 plus 10 format, but mm -hmm. yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, yeah, I get asked that all the time. When are you getting titled or why is your feeder so bad? But I feel like every streamer probably gets that to an extent. Like if you're an IM that's saying, when are you going to be a GM? Why are you not a GM? Right. And when are you going to be an IM? When are yeah. you going to be this? It's so, continuous like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But thank you so much for analyzing with me, and thanks for playing. Yeah, this was uh, this was so fun. We should do a collab on our own. This makes makes me think of it. Uh, yes. We, we haven't yes, done it in such a long time. time. So uh, I yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. All right. We should we should totally do something like this in the future. And uh, for now, uh, I hope you study up that uh, that Janish Gambit, and uh, see you soon, Hannah. I shall.